Hello, and welcome to the May 2020 Registry Partners Coding Break. This month, the presentation will focus on the 2018 SEER Coding and Staging Manual, Appendix C, containing the site-specific coding modules and the coding guidelines that assist CTRs in coding the subsite. Appendix C brings together the site-specific instructions needed to abstract a case, which facilitates efficiency and accuracy. Some of the modules include site-specific coding guidelines for coding the primary site, priority order, extent of disease, solid tumor rules, and surgery codes. This presentation will review in detail coding the subsite and the priority order. The site-specific coding guidelines are located by following this link, and the presentation will focus on two of the sites, breast and bladder. This is a screenshot of Appendix C with the disease sites listed. When you click on the plus sign of the disease site, it will expand the information. When you expand the breast site, you will be able to select and view the coding guidelines. You also have access to the solid tumor rules, the surgery codes, and the extent of disease schema. The breast coding guidelines provide a priority order for coding subsites when there is conflicting information. The first priority is given to the operative report, followed by the path report, the mammogram, ultrasound, and then the physical exam. Further coding guidelines explain when a path report identifies an invasive tumor in one subsite and an incitement tumor in another, you are to code the subsite of the invasive. If multifocal tumors are all within one quadrant, to, you code to that specific quadrant. Do not code to breast NOS in this situation. Code C50.8 when you have a single tumor in two or more subsites and it is unknown which subsite the tumor originated, as well as when the tumor is located at the 12, the 3, 6, or 9 o'clock position. And you would code C50.9 breast NOS when you have multiple tumors, two or more, in at least two quadrants. The breast coding guidelines also have some instruction for laterality. When a breast primary has positive nodes and no breast mass is found, you may code the laterality to the side of the positive nodes. The guidelines also provide the clock position and codes. If you hover your cursor over any area within the clock positions within the guidelines, a text box will appear with this wording describing the quadrant clock positions. As a reminder, make sure you are looking at the correct laterality for the clock positions. This is what's called a mirror image. I would like to walk through three examples and assign the primary site based on the breast guidelines. Make sure you are referring to the correct laterality of the breast. The first example is asking to code the multi multifocal tumors located at the four and five o'clock position of the right breast. The second is asking to code a single tumor described as sub areola of the left breast. And the third is stating you have a surgical path report, which is positive for 1.5 centimeter invasive tumor in the lower outer quadrant of the right breast, and a two centimeter in situ tumor at the nine o'clock position of the right breast. So for number one, you have a tumor at the four and five o'clock position of the right breast, which is of the same quadrant, which is the lower inner quadrant or C50.3. The second, you have a single tumor described as sub areola of the left breast. And the sub areola or central portion of the breast area extending one centimeter around the areola complex is coded to C50.1 for both the right and the left breast. Since the third example contains an invasive and in situ tumor, we code the invasive position, which is the lower outer quadrant, or C50.5. The next site is bladder. 
The bladder guidelines begin with not reportable direction. The WHO classifies the papillary urethelial neoplasms of low ma malignant potential as borderline, and that is coded to 8130-1. And the WHO classifies urethelial papilloma as benign, which is coded to 8120-0. We also have the priority order for coding the subsites when there is conflicting information. The operative report is listed as first, which is likely going to be a term, and the second is the pathology report. We also have guidelines for the multifocal tumors. Assign C67.9 when the tumor is described as multifocal in more than one subsite of the bladder. The second bullet is similar to the breast guidelines, where if you have a pathology with invasive and in situ code, you code the subsite involved with the invasive tumor. This is a listing of terms describing the primary site and their respective code. This listing is helpful if you see the position describing the tumor as a site you may not be familiar seeing, such as below the interuretic ridge, or it may be referred to as the crest or fold. And that is coded to C67.0. These are the remaining site descriptions with their codes. The bladder coding guidelines also include the bladder wall pathology of the three main layers, which are the mucosa, the lamina propria, and the muscle. There is also a bladder wall table containing the sublayers, the synonyms, staging, and description. We also have further behavior coding guidelines for the bladder, which instruct to code the behavior as malignant, a slash three, and not in situ when, you, when the only surgery is a TURB and the depth of invasion cannot be measured because there is not muscle in the specimen, and the physician's TNM designation is not available. Or when you have a path report that says the submucosa is invaded with tumor, or when it does not mention whether the submucosa is free of tumor or has been invaded by the tumor. You code the behavior as in site 2 slash 2 when the TNM designation is TA for a TURB with no muscle in the specimen or when the PATH report says the submucosa is free of tumor. So we have a couple bladder site examples. The first one is a TURB where findings describe the tumor just above the uretic orifice. The second is a TURB with findings that describe the tumor at the posterior wall of the bladder but the pathology report documents bladder NLS. And finally, the third is a TURB which reveals multiple tumors at the lateral wall, the posterior wall, and bladder neck. In these examples, the number one, the tumor just above the uretic orifice, is coded to C67.6. Number two, with the term describing tumor at the posterior wall of the bladder, but the path report stating bladder NOS, you would code to C60.4, which is specific to the posterior wall of the bladder since the term takes priority. And example number three would be coded to bladder NOS. The C67.9 would be correct because you have three different subsites. This concludes the May coding break. Please reference the SEER coding manual Appendix C during abstracting to help with priority order and coding the subsite. Thank you for your attention and have a great day.